Good morning to you at Mission Control, The Real Martian here. Well, today we've got, how do I want to say it? A very unfun job. And it's going to be pretty boring, so we're going to fast forward through a lot of these videos. But I just want to lay out what we're doing here today. This will probably be pretty short for you. It's going to be very long for me. Um, we need to empty out all these beds today. Uh, they all need to be emptied. And the three beds up top, they're going to be moving over to uh, lane four that you saw built previously. We're going to get that all completed today and move the beds over to it. Get the pumps running and start cycling the water over there. I have to repair my nemesis bed. Uh, if you've been following us for a long time, you know there's just, just this one bed that no matter what I do, it's always broke. Uh, so we're going to take it fully apart today and rebuild it. Uh, so it's, at least I hope I can get to it. Uh, so it's all better. And uh, then we got to empty out all these. We're going to move all the beds to lane four, and there'll be a few extra beds, so we'll move those over to lane one so we can start cycling it. That's one of the new ones we built. Uh, and we're actually going to start the process of disassembling lane three, which is the one you're looking at here. If you recall, this is the one that tilted on me, uh, and I had to repair, and it's never been right since. So we're actually going to go through and do the reinforcements of the footings, just like what we did on lane uh, four and lane one. Um, and get this thing re-leveled and reassembled and put back together. Uh, I'm excited about that uh, result. <laughs> I'm not excited about what I have to do to get there. So let me show you what I have to do. So I've got the bucket here. For the upper ones, just got to go up the ladder. Get rock. Dump rock. Come back down ladder. After you do that a few times and fill the wheelbarrow, take the wheelbarrow out and go dump it. So it's going to take me uh, quite a few hours to go through and do all this. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm not totally excited. Anyway, let's get to it. I, uh, woo, a little tight. I almost forgot to mention uh, kind of an important thing. And for those of you, uh, as we're getting older, uh, you know the body doesn't work uh, the way that it used to as well. Uh, you can tell I got a little something different on. It's nice uh, bright hunter's orange. Very sexy. Uh, and uh, very Martianist. I never even thought the orange actually is kind of our Martian thing, isn't it? Uh, anyway, my whole point of this is, uh, so I'm sitting there at my normal job and I was bringing up that I have to do all this work this weekend. And uh, one of the guys there, uh, he, he mentioned, you know, hey, that's going to be lots of twisting and turning and carrying stuff. and uh, don't you have a bulge disc? And I go, yeah, I do. And he said, well, you should probably think about getting a back brace, you know, uh, just for what you're doing here today, because I'm going to be up there. I mean, bent over. My bulge disc is right back here. I mean, bent over, doing this, you know, twisting, dumping. And what I found on my bulge disc, maybe if you have one, you'd probably be different, but um, my core was weak, uh, and that allowed my back to get out of uh, place it wasn't holding everything in the way it should have and that resulted as partial reason uh, for my bulge disc. So um, by putting this on today I kind of I get a little lazy in my mental thinking if once I start getting tired this will help me stay a little bit safer. Uh, so I'll just be wearing it for when I'm doing this type of work. So uh, I take it very very seriously not to just keep the belt on for the sake of keeping it on. Uh, it does give you a lot of support. It certainly sucks in the many many years of beer belly that I've built up and that's all great and stuff but it's not something you want to depend on, but I just wanted to give this little safety moment uh, today. Uh, I've done many stupid things that aren't safe, but today I'm actually going to try to be a little bit safer, so we'll see how it all goes. Anyway, i got a lot of digging to do, so let's get going. All right, there's the ninth load out of one bed. I think it's going to take me about an hour per bed to get them emptied. That's uh, four, five, six, seven, seven hours. So we got a long day ahead of us, uh, and I still got to move the beds. But you know, when you're on Mars and it's just you, you just got to get it done. That's what we're doing, getting it done. Okay, yeah, took about an hour, twelve wheelbarrow fulls, and uh, now I got to get that big old bed right here. Gonna be exciting. All right, we got 
go. There's some water in there, so I just need to tilt it in. Get it drain out. Make it a little lighter. Every little bit helps. Now it's worth saying, I put these up there by myself, so I'm pretty confident I can get it down by myself, but this is why like if you really are on Mars and it's just you and your Mark Watney, you're in a tough spot. We're gonna have to get serious about this. Well, this will either work or it won't. Let's go give it a shot. I'd say that's pretty successful. Booyah! Give me a lever long enough and I'll move the world. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Woo! Now I gotta get up there. Sally, it's the wrong angle. Should have tilted that way. Well, there's one. That was entertaining, huh? So, I gotta move those other two. I gotta take the racking here uh, that I just cleared up and I gotta, you know, build the next section of lane four so I can bring the upper bed down and put it in the next location. I wanna get these all in place and get them cycling, meaning get the rock back in them get the water running through it so the bacteria, the good bacteria, starts to spread through the water and we can put fish over here and get plants uh, growing. Whew. I got the whole heart rate up. Uh, wow, okay. So uh, something else I wanted to say too is that while we are putting the microgreen shelves in, uh, we're not turning fully away from the aquaponics and everything that we're trying to do. What we're actually gonna do is all these lower beds are gonna end up being all aquaponic beds and we are gonna fill them to the brim with lettuce, kale, leafy vegetables. And uh, the vision is that they'll be stacked really in here tight, just lots of vegetables there. And that's gonna be our aquaponic side of things. And then we'll have the microgreens up here growing and the microgreens don't really need any light put on them during the summertime uh, because the, there's enough light coming in. So we'll save energy that way. And then we really have to focus on getting uh, 17 micromoles per meter squared per second down here on this bed, which means we'll need more light. Uh, that's the amount of light that you need for uh, leafy vegetables. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna get all these things taken down 
and uh, we'll come back and do another video to see where we're at. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this one. I got a lot of work to do. If you did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. That always helps us out. Look forward to your comments on the videos, how we can make them better. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter if you like. In the meantime, this is Roe Martian, out.